The traditional way of watching TV is channel surfing. You pick up the remote, lean back, and flip through channels to see what's on. On Android TV, app developers can create TV channels, so your content can be part of this experience. To the user, your channels look and feel like regular TV channels, but behind the scenes, they stream video off the internet. You can create a TV channel from a video playlist and have it appear alongside other channels in the program guide. The feature that makes this possible is the TV input framework. This defines how Android TV works with channels provided by a physical TV tuner, as well as streaming-based channels provided by an app. To create a channel, there are two main classes to implement. The setup activity communicates with the system to provide information about your channels, like what programs are on and when. The TV input service, on the other hand, receives events from the system. These events inform you when the user interacts with your channel. For example, when they tune to it or change the volume. The best way to learn how to build a channel is to check out the sample app, which you can find linked in the description below. Install it and you'll find it provides a TV input source, which you can configure through the Live Channels app. This creates a variety of channels that fully integrate with the program guide. Each of these shows off a different feature. Some stream video from the internet using MPEG Dash or HLS, and others show how to use features like closed captioning and multiple audio tracks. Another great feature this sample demonstrates is called app linking. With app linking, you can provide a direct link to your app from your channel, and this is a great way to increase engagement. Now let's take a look at the implementation at a high level. If you have an existing app, then you can add support for the TV input framework into your existing APK. As usual, start by updating your application manifest. The first step is to declare your TV input service. Add the bind TV input permission and declare an intent filter that specifies the TV input service. Within the service declaration, you'll also need to point to your setup activity, and you can do that by providing a link to metadata in a separate XML resource. Once your manifest is updated, it's time to implement your service. To do that, you extend the TV input service class. Your service is started by the system when the user tunes to your channel, and when that happens, the onCreateSession method is invoked. Inside this method, you'll return a TV input service session object. This contains callback methods the system uses to inform you of different events, like when it's time to begin playing back your content. The first important event is onset surface. This is used to provide you with an Android surface object on which you can play your content. And you can do that using Android's Media Player or ExoPlayer and other media players. And by the way, if you're new to ExoPlayer, it's a Google-maintained open source alternative to Android's Media Player API. When the user tunes to one of your channels, the onTune callback is invoked. This signals it's time to start playback on that surface. There are additional callbacks you can implement to handle things like closed captions and parental controls, and you can find more details about these at this link. Now in your setup activity, you'll need to provide electronic program guide data, or EPG for short. This is just a list of your channels and programs. It tells the system what shows are on and when. Just like other media data, Android TV keeps channel and program information in content providers. Inside your setup activity, you'll map your program information to the fields Android TV expects. You can find details about these fields at this link and see a complete example and some utility classes in the sample app. Over time, you'll probably need to update your program data. You can do that in the background by using a built-in solution like Job Scheduler. You can register your job and run the update during idle time, say, every night at 3 AM. For more information, check out the developer training and the sample app, and visit the Android TV community to ask questions and share ideas. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.